For those of you that are joining Spark Lab for the first time today, let me start by giving you the context of the ambition of this program. We're searching the world to find the, the most powerful, the most practical, the most simple tips and techniques that you can use in your business to help reach the next level. So with that in mind, Alia, welcome to today's discussion. Thank you. Alia has built a very practical model to help us navigate this discussion. Do you mind sharing some of that? Just to give some practical examples of that someone listening can do to start building the muscle of either self or mm. situational awareness tomorrow. What does that look like? I'll do one better. I'll give you a heuristic. Okay. Mind where your mind goes. Mind where your mind goes. Okay. Mind where your mind goes. And okay. I think irrespective of who we are, where we are, or what we've got in front of you, that yes. discipline of noticing where our minds are can be incredibly cathartic and is absolutely critical for resilience. Most of us are wired to anticipate the worst case scenario. We are bombarded in an economy of attention with thousands of pieces of information every microsecond. Most of it isn't good news either. Yes. And so in order for us to prepare for resilience, to strengthen and fortify us, yes. we have to have the discipline of maintaining that sacred space between ourselves and the world outside of us. And that only happens when we mind where our mind goes. Okay. Are we in replaying and pre-playing? Are we in ruminating and worrying? Or are we in the present right here, right now? Okay, belonging. Clearly it's important. Mm -hmm. It's like oxygen for high performers. A practical example that people watching this, this session can start doing to start cultivating a sense of belonging with their teams, families, organizations. What does that look like? Again, I'll do one better and I'll give you a second heuristic. Okay. Belong and make better. Okay. Belonging is critical. It's like a well in a drought, but not all wells are made equal. The first job that we have to do is to ground ourselves into the places, times, people, phases of our lives where we have felt the most strength, where we have felt seen, when we have felt accepted and trusted. If we don't have that readily available to us, one of the most wonderful tips that I have is to find something, however small it might be, to improve the lot of someone by you, next to you, whoever mm. that might be. Mm. Now, this is not just a nice gesture but it refuels our sense of self-efficacy, our awareness of how we can influence ourselves and those around us. Any action, however small, can increase our acceptance that we have influence, even if it's something that is as proximate as what's within our fingertips. Okay. My grandmother used to say, in times of crisis, there are three things that matter, and in that order, the neighbors, the plants, and then the children. I know she was just being funny when she said it, but. Focus on your community. Focus on those that are around you. Focus on the things that sustain you. Focus on those that matter to you. Okay. Job done. So mm. curiosity, very important, comes after awareness and belonging. Uh -huh. A practical tip to help people watching today to start cultivating the sense of curiosity. Wonder more. And here is what it sounds like. I wonder whether, I wonder how, I wonder why. Wonder more. Interesting, love mm. that. Okay, so drive, we've hit two bits. We've talked about it's the natural consequence, this idea of just forward movement, but also replenishment. So you choose a practical way to fuel either movement or replenishment, what would it be? My sense is that we have to set our aim clearly first, and that's on thriving, not on surviving. Mm. And in order for us to thrive, that sustenance, that balance, that equilibrium, refueling is absolutely critical. We mm. want to make it way past tomorrow, right? We want to make it to where we are dreaming we need to be. And so for that reason, I think the most important thing is to mind what matters most, find access points so that you can refuel yourself as frequently as possible in order for you to give it your all. Yeah, I love that. Thank you for giving us your time. As always, please leave us your feedback. If there's a topic, you'd like us to explore. If there's a speaker you'd like us to reach out to, let us know. Thank you, goodbye.